She is known for developing the Formac programming language and being one of the developers of COBOL. She is recognized for her influential contributions to computer science and programming languages. Her name is Jean E. Samet. In the world of computer science, there is one name that stands out, Jean E. Samet, an American computer scientist who made significant contributions to the field. With a bachelor's degree in mathematics from Mount Holyoke College and a master's degree from the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign, Samet's journey into the world of programming began. She was a trailblazer in developing influential programming languages, including the Formac language in 1962 and being part of the original COBOL group. During her career, Samet worked for various companies, including Sperry Gyroscope and Sylvania, where she supervised the first scientific programming group and contributed to the development of COBOL. In 1961, she joined IBM, where she made groundbreaking advancements in programming languages. She developed Formac, the first widely used computer language for symbolic manipulation of mathematical formulas. Samet's research also focused on using restricted English and natural language for programming purposes. Samet's contributions extended beyond her work in programming languages. She founded the ACM Special Interest Committee on Symbolic and Algebraic Manipulation and served as the chair of the Special Interest Group on Programming Languages. In 1974, she became the first female president of the ACM, solidifying her role as a pioneer and leader in the field of computer science. Jean E. Samet's legacy continues to inspire and shape the world of computer science. Her groundbreaking work in programming languages and her leadership in the field have left an indelible mark. Her story serves as a reminder that gender should never be a barrier to achievement and that anyone, regardless of their background, can make a profound impact in the world of science and technology. In the early 1950s, Jean Samet found herself working as a trainee actuary at the Metropolitan Life Insurance Company. Eager to expand her knowledge, she enrolled in an in-house training program on punched card accounting machines. Samet quickly grasped the intricacies of electronic accounting machines, but unfortunately, she was unable to continue working with them after completing her training. Determined to pursue her passion, Samet left her position and embarked on a journey to obtain a PhD in mathematics at Columbia University. During the 1952-1953 school year, Samet worked as a teaching assistant at Barnard College. However, she soon realized that the academic life was not her calling. In 1953, Samet joined Sperry Gyroscope in New York as a mathematician. Her work involved tackling mathematical analysis problems for clients and operating an analog computer. She also contributed to the Department of the Navy Submarine Program. It was during this time, in early 1955, that Samet took her first steps into the world of programming. Sperry Gyroscope was in the process of developing the Sperry Electronic Digital Automatic Computer, SPEEDAC, and they sought Samet's expertise as a programmer. Her initial task was to write a basic loader for the SPEEDAC. This seemingly simple 20-line program took three days to manually enter into the computer in binary. As Sperry expanded its programming team, Samet became the group leader of what was known as an open shop. This group of programmers acted as consultants to engineers and scientists, collaborating on system software and focusing on scientific and engineering computations. In 1955, Sperry Gyroscope merged with Remington Rand, forming Sperry Rand. This merger brought Samet into contact with the renowned Univac I computer and the influential Grace Hopper. In 1956, Samet made another significant contribution to the field of programming by teaching one of the earliest graduate-level computer programming courses at Adelphi College. Despite the lack of a computer and limited programming textbooks, Samet successfully instructed two courses over the span of two years. Yearning to work for a company with computers at its core, Samet left Sperry and faced the challenge of finding a suitable position as a woman in a male-dominated industry. Undeterred by the gender-segregated job advertisements, she scanned the men's list and discovered an engineer position at Sylvania Electric Products in Needham, Massachusetts. Carl Hammer, responsible for Sylvania's software development, recognized Samet's talent and hired her to oversee software development for the Mobitic project. In 1959, Samet and a team of five programmers played a pivotal role in designing the influential COBOL programming language. Their proposal, which outlined the language's fundamental concepts, was accepted by Sylvania's U.S. government clients. Samet's contributions to the field of programming did not stop there. In 1969, she published, Programming Languages, History and Fundamentals, a comprehensive overview of 120 programming languages used in the United States during the late 1960s. Do you want to explore more scientists? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.